Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So like I promised to my BBN Niger lovers, I told you I'll be bringing more BBN Niger reunion episode for you guys yeah the 2021 reunion as in the lockdown edition is ongoing and today is the day three and i promised you all i will try my best to bring you the gist so guys without wasting much of your time let's get right into today's episode so today like i said is the day three and it started with Ebuka, the host asking talani Baj about the triangle between she prince watune and i think negi yes and Talani Bans, who came very prepared, decided to speak. And she said, well, she regretted entangling herself in the triangle and in getting involved with Prince in the first place. That Because when she came out of the house and saw all the trolling, the insult from Prince's fans and everyone, she was really sad. It felt like she was desperate and she wasn't desperate at all. Because after all, it was Prince that finally came to her and told her that he liked her her so she doesn't understand where the desperation is coming from and all that so she tried to explain how it was going and Ebuka asked her if she knew Watone was into Prince too and all that and she said yes she knew and but Prince picked her and Watone was asked and Watone said actually she liked Prince but not in that way that she was just cozy and all the asked me did oh because so we the viewers many of us saw her Watone wanted to be booed up at all costs, yeah, from kids to prince to bad, oh, even Eric at the time. So it was surprising for a lot of people when she said she was just cruising that she never really liked him that way, that she would encourage him to pick between Negi and um, Cholani. So everybody know where they are and all that. Do you understand? So as they were talking about it, so they asked Cholani, why she's angry about the whole situation and all that. That's her anger arises from the fact that she was being thrown uncontrollably and be called desperate, whereas she's not. And uh, Prince gaslighted her and made so many stuff, as in Prince is the cause. She was kind of literally blaming Prince for everything. And Prince was asked what happened. And Prince tried to explain his past that, yeah, at the time, okay, there was a bit of a triangle, but if made a choice and realized okay he, he told Tolani that i like you let's try to do this and he tried to make things work but Tolani didn't make things easy for him because most of the time Tolani wanted him to be with her all the time and Tolani wanted him not to talk to some certain set of people and these people didn't do nothing to him so it was not okay with him and she wanted pda which he is not too into pda like that so that was the cause of contention or the cause of what the problems between in their relationship so that that it didn't just really work out that's for Wathoni that well he never really was into her but he told Tolani and they tried to work things out and see how everything came up and all that and uh, Tolani uh, countered him and said no you were i realized that okay this was just a game to you you were just cruising you were never that a serious person was it was because negi rejected you so how can someone be rejected and just move on so fast so that was when i knew okay this wasn't real and all that so Tolani was just kind of angry anyway so she was a bit defensive too then prince tried to correct her that no that's not what happened at all but anyway prince said okay why we were trying to make things work in the house I didn't know you had the mind you had feelings for your supposed best friend's man that is visma neil oh and that made dolani very angry she said well if you were man enough i quote i wouldn't have been doing that i wanted to use neil to make you jealous so make you know how a man should be and everybody said whoa 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 so was that how you did it oh uh, it was war. Tolani came prepared. Do you understand? So Ebuka asked V how she felt about what Tolani did. Like Tolani was a friend in the house. So how did she feel when she heard Tolani was kind of having feelings for her man or looking her man's way and all that? And V tried to explain that. To be honest, she was not happy. She knew she said a lot of things because she didn't believe. She didn't even know anything like that was going on until 
Talani was evicted and Erica said something concerning that and she was wow surprised. Talani was supposed to be my friend that we should be looking my mask way at all that. It's just like a kind of desperation and Talani got angry, started yelling at V, calling her the B word, threw a pillow at V and all that. In fact, it was chaotic. Yeah, Talani went too far. It was kind of she overdid it. It wasn't really nice because in this situation actually, I think V is right. Yeah, you were trying to get my man. You don't expect me to laugh and smile over it. Yes, she would definitely be angry. And she said, yes, she realized she said a lot of things, which, okay, later she came out and apologized for and all that. But she doesn't know where this whole hatred and this whole fight is still coming from, where uh, Tolani is still attacking her and all that. Tolani had to throw pillow at her, call her the B words, insult at her with her own degree, telling V that when you have a degree, you can come talk to me. <laughs> v answered. Oh, with I did you, what are you doing? What did you do different? Something like that. And Talani said, Oh, blah blah blah, have a beginning and the stranger. So many stuff. And we said, Okay, you have this degree and you're here shouting on BBN. It was in fact B and uh, in fact V was very composed. I liked her composure. She was just talking calmly and giving it to Tolani, but Tolani was just everywhere yelling, shouting the B word, calling herself a bad bitch, that she can get any man she wants, that she's a snack, she's a speck, she's a bad. Oh my god, it was chaotic. Where while all this was going on, a lot of the housemates were very quiet, they were just observing, nobody wanted to. But one person was so annoying, Dorothy. Even though Dorothy is one of my fave. Even though I don't really have a fave. I actually love all of them. But Dorothy went overboard yesterday. Her side talks and her laugh and all that was so annoying that a lot of people saw. I thought I was the only one that noticed it. But a lot of people noticed it and they started calling her names, trolling her and all that. Well, she brought it upon herself because every other person was composed. She was just doing side talks and laughing unnecessarily. That wasn't even called for at all. You have to give it to Negi. Negi was very composed. Though... In a way, I thought Negi should have at least maybe defended her friend a bit, V. Because V was kind of under fire. Because I believe if it was Negi that was being talked to like that and threw a pillow at, I believe V would have supported Negi. I know V for that. But anyway, everybody reacts differently. So that was just my own. But aside that, I like the way she composed herself. She was just minding her business. Like, okay, she's nobody. Though her name was called repeatedly, but see, that didn't trigger her to just say any bad word or yell on it. She was just composed, sitting down there like a queen, which was really nice. <laughs> so now let's come to Neo. Neo was trying to counter what Tolani was saying about he's telling Erica that he likes her, Tolani, that he didn't mean it that way. Why is Tolani taking it so... Uh, why is Tolani taking it your, uh, the wrong way? That he was just complimenting her. That was all. It's not as if he met it and all that. That is not his fault that he doesn't like Tolani. Tolani was shutting him up, shouting and yelling at him. Shut up. Look at that. You're not a man. This was someone she said she wanted to, to make other person jealous because he's a man. None. He's not a man. Tolani can't tell him and they were exchanging words and... Neo tried actually try to defend this woman and also clear his name that well I didn't mean it the way you're saying it that oh yeah I wanted you I was feeling it I just gave you a compliment you made a new hair that day and it was in presence of everybody it's not as if I tell, uh, I told every cat separately and told said then why did you come to ask uh, me if I like PDA where did that conversation come from and all that so they were just going back and forth but in all of this Tolani overdid it she shot herself in the leg because it made a lot of people dislike her last night as in all her aggressions her uh, shouting and yelling wasn't actually called for even the v she was fighting v was so calm and all that and i wonder why she's fighting v because somehow she is the one at home she is one looking at this man and all that blah blah blah, blah. so Fina said you are the one that came for my man you're supposed to be my friend and she she told v what if I didn't wait as a friend in the first place. Can you imagine that? And also, V admitted to all the name calling she has been receiving, like the name she has been told with. Yes, I know I am a witch. I am a bitter leaf. And I accept. Are joining me? <laughs> that guy is so funny. <laughs> so there was a lot of bickering back and forth, people yelling. Oh, last night was. I will show you guys some few pictures for you guys to see. So that was what happened last night. It was just mainly, uh, mainly between. Tolani, V, um, Prince. Yeah. So, after all the yelling and shouting, Ebuka asked um, 
Prince, what do you have to say now? Did you think you indirectly or you are the cause of all this right between all these people, all this thing that is going on? This part is aside. And um Prince said where he can he will take the blame for him not choosing on time, deciding on who he wants to be with on time, okay. Partly it's his fault, he takes the blame and all that. But as for the Watoni's part, he's not going to address it because that was that's it's significant. Oh my god, that's triggered Watoni. Like Prince was calling Watoni insignificant. <laughs> so after Prince finished talking and Watoni got up, I said, I am not insignificant. You cannot afford me. I am a mother of a 10 year old. I am a snack. Look at me. She stood up and was doing the 360. And she was just trying to redeem herself because of what Prince said. Actually, what Prince said wasn't too nice to me. It wasn't really that nice. But ah, what can I say? They are all just trying to say their mind in this reunion and all that. So, all in all, that was what happened. Dorothy was really annoying. Yeah. I can't even hide that. She was annoying with her side talks, her side comments, and laughing unnecessarily. Like, it wasn't nice at all. <laughs> Kid Wire. Oh my God. I like it smooth. It was like, please, what is going on here? You push your finish, I should go. Kid Wire was calm. Negi was calm. Ah, Lucy and the others. Oh, Katrina didn't. Maybe she didn't have any reason to talk anyway. She was calm. So she didn't say nothing. So that was how it went yesterday. Now we're waiting for the next episode, which we got a clip from. And this next episode, I think it's going to be the bomb. Oh, you don't want to hear what Katrina said. Oh my God, everybody's waiting anxiously for tonight to see the next episode. So guys, that's literally what happened. I guess I summarized it. Well, maybe. So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you. Please, sorry about the noise. I was trying to be fast. In case I forgot some things because you know my boy is here, it's kind of disturbing me. So see you guys in the next review. Cha cha.